Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners, how and why to create a sales order. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and so we're gonna walk through in this video, um, not only why you create a sales order in QuickBooks, but also how to do it. Okay, so uh, a sales order in your business is uh, has to do with the typical accounts receivable flow or the accounting process within QuickBooks. Now, the sales order function is only available in QuickBooks Desktop. It's not available in QuickBooks Online. And you're going to use this to track orders that you're going to fulfill in the future. Okay, so typically you're going to use sales orders in a product type business or even a manufacturing type business, uh, not in a service business uh, per se. And so the sales order, you're going to enter a sales order in QuickBooks when a customer sends you an order. Okay, so they send an order to you, you create a sales order, and this helps you track your sales that you have to fulfill. Okay, so they're not an invoice, uh, they're not a recording transaction. And what I mean by that is they don't record anything in your accounting records or in your financial statements, but they're more or less for tracking purposes. Very similar to an estimate, somewhat. You know, an estimate you're going to send to a customer. And if they sign off on it, then you would create a sales order at that point. Uh, so an estimate is just telling your customer, hey, it's gonna cost about this much to do this or to build this or to sell this or whatever it is. And you can convert an estimate to a sales order if they sign off on that and say, yes, we wanna do this. Now, you can also create a sales order uh, directly in QuickBooks. You don't have to do an estimate first. You can create a sales order if somebody sends you an order for something and you're gonna fulfill it at a later date, okay? So it's not like a point of sale, it's not a retail type thing that you're going to do right then. It's gonna be something that you're gonna to ship to them or fulfill to them uh, in the future. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. Now we're at the home screen here in QuickBooks and you can see you've got your icon right here that says sales orders. So again, let's, let's take the example that a customer just sent you an order uh, and you are going to fulfill it, but you're not going to fulfill it immediately, not today. Okay, so you're gonna click on the sales order button and you're gonna fill in the customer name. So let's say that it's uh, Christy Abercrombie's family room. If you are class tracking, then you're going to put the class. Okay, so we're gonna say this is, uh, let's say remodel, okay? We're gonna put in the date you're going to put in your sales order number. You may have a specific ordering system uh, for your sales orders, uh, or it'll just put them in chronologically. So you can start at, you know, 2000 and it'll go to 2001, 2002, et cetera. Okay. Now, uh, Christy Abercrombie, the name and address, everything is going to put in here from the customer list. And if there's a PO number that this is associated with, okay, so if you have to do a purchase order and, you know, order materials or whatever it is, you can enter that here, all right, and link that. All right, so now you're going to go and you're going to choose your items that they are purchasing. So let's say that uh, they are purchasing carpet, install carpeting, uh, we'll say, uh, you know, four, and we're going to say that the rate is, you know, 500 bucks. All right, class remodel. Then we're gonna say down here that we're also gonna do some duct work. Okay, heating and air conditioning duct work. And also let's say five, um, and we'll say that the rate is $55. Okay, so we'll say that's hourly rate, 275. Okay, so the total is 2275, and we want to be able to track this so that uh, we can convert this to an invoice later on. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to hit save and close, save and new, etc. And now you can track this within QuickBooks, and I'll show you where that is. Now, if you're going to convert this to an invoice down the road, so you have your sales order, you finish the job, and now you're going to convert this to an invoice, you're going to click on this create invoice. Uh, you can also create a purchase order for this so that you can order the correct materials, in this case, uh, carpeting and possibly some heating and air uh, materials. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit save and close. All right, so now if we go over to the chart of accounts, so if you go to the company drop down menu and you go down here to chart of accounts, okay, and you scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to see a couple things down here. You're going to see they say non-posting. Okay, so we have purchase orders, estimates, and sales orders. All right, 
So you can double click on this and it's going to pull up all your sales orders that you have out there. These are non-posting. Like I said, they do not go into your financial statements. They do not go into your accounting records, but they do track for you in QuickBooks. Okay. So you can go here, you can pull these up and see what sales orders you have out here. You know, the other options were the estimates and purchase orders, see which ones you have. Uh, if you need to go into one of these, uh, you can double click and it's going to bring it up on the screen and uh, you can turn this into an invoice, create a purchase order, whatever you need to do. Okay. Important thing to remember is, you know, think about the flow of information. If I go back over to the home screen over here. Okay. So you see it's an estimate goes to a sales order, goes to a purchase order. And then if you get inventory, receive inventory, enter the bill, enter bill, pay bill, et cetera. But it also goes uh, sales order down here to create invoices. So, you know, if you kind of use this home screen to guide you through this process, it can be very, very helpful uh, in following which way to go. All right. Any questions, any comments, uh, feel free to leave those below. Happy to answer some of those basic questions for you. Also head over to the QuickBooks University, uh, discover a whole lot more there uh, with uh, the training that I have at QuickBooks University to learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks and also answer your personal questions.